Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Genshin Impact. So, last time we left off, we're actually not where we left off actually, uh, we were doing the stuff for um, Albedo in um, Dragonspine, and basically we were doing some experimentation and everything and whatnot, and basically he was going to give us the results and all that kind of thing, but anyways, we're going to head back there, but first, I've been doing some dailies and everything, so we've got a couple of wishes. Not a whole lot. I thought I had more than that, but I guess I don't. But we're getting really close to hitting pity, so like I said in the last couple episodes, we're going to just keep doing individual pulls every time we have them. So at the end of the episode, we'll go ahead and do some more pulls, but without further ado, let's get right back into it. So we need to head... I think it was here. I really need to get that statue activated so I can actually see where everything is on Dragon's Spine. <laughs> no venti. So let's see, here should be his campsite. And is this what we're supposed to do? Are we supposed to look at stuff? Okay, yeah, we were supposed to kind of just look around. Shelf packed with books and potions. Looks like the owner has a bit of habit of reading. Researching potions, blah, blah, blah. And doesn't want us to look at his art. Observe record board. Board is some incomprehensible experimental report stuck onto it. Still, you can tell that progress is being made on those experiments. Here comes Albedo. Let's go see him. Ah, there he is. I was like, where is he? Okay, what do you got for me? I'm back. Did you see anything interesting? Here. Mm, do 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 do. Couldn't make heads or tails of anything. Not to worry. They're all for alchemical purposes. You'd be hard-pressed to find an everyday use for them. Well, on with the research. There may be significant differences between different worlds. Take Tevat, for example. Here, those with visions can manipulate the elements. But worlds may well exist where only one person is able to do so. Or even everyone. So, uh, leaving elements to one side. Do you possess any... unique? Abilities? Ones that don't exist in this world? I think answering this question calls for the same methodology as last time. In other words, time for the next experiment. Am I battling slimes again? No, no. You shan't be required to exert quite so much effort this time around. Now, see this pillar here? Use your willpower to try and break it. Uh, sorry, I just can't do it. That was your best effort? Hmm. Well, can't be helped, I suppose. What's with the disappointment? Isn't that, like, impossible? Uh, have you tried using your elemental power with food? I don't mean for cooking as such. Uh, rather, channeling your power into the ingredients themselves. I'm curious to see how the taste and texture respond. It may even help with proliferation. Alchemists certainly have active imaginations. <laughs> I suppose I have a curiosity for things that others find surprising. Anyway, why don't you cook us up a sunshine sprat? I've just finished preparing the recipe. Cooking? Paimo was looking forward to more mad scientist stuff. Not only is this recipe a staple for me, it's also worth experimenting with and highly nutritious. Hmm. Time on bits, you're just hungry. It does sound yummy, though. Okay, time on approves. I know what you're getting at. Mm -hmm. Good buddies are always on the same page. I'll leave you to it then. Looking forward to the results. If there's anything left over, maybe Timaeus can finish the last morsels. Uh, Paimon doesn't think we'll have that problem. How are we gonna channel elemental okay. power into the food? Maybe try the willpower thing again. Uh, Where let's does he get see. these ideas from anyway? Cooking. Recipe, what do I need? Do I have this stuff for it? Uh, no, I need... I need butter. I need three things of butter. Oh my gosh, it takes five minutes each. 
Can I just buy it from somewhere? Okay, good. I just sold a general good. Oh, no, that's the milk I sold. Please tell me butter is. I'll be right back. Because otherwise, we're going to be doing some waiting, and I don't feel like waiting. Let's see. Either of you guys sell butter? Um... Nope, just more milk. Great. I don't think anyone sells butter, actually, now that I think about it. Which is not going to be good. Oh, good. She does sell butter. Okay, sweet. We'll just buy five. And we'll just cook it here. Um, sunshine sprat. There we go. Oh. Awesome, Noelle can cook it, and cook manually. Perfect. There we go. Now head back to Albedo. Do 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 do. Let's wait till the snow gets heavier and have a snowball fight! Are you gonna say that every time, Venti? Wouldn't gliding be faster? Okay, here you go. That was fast. Looking forward to tasting, I mean, testing the results. Uh-huh. He's just hungry. Mmm. An average outcome experimentally, but you've really brought out the flavor. You seem well-versed in the science of gastronomy. As far as the proliferation hypothesis is concerned, we've come up short. Seems like food presents the same headaches in your world as it does ours. Unless, could it be that the natural laws of this world are limiting your unique abilities? We just didn't know how to channel elemental power into the food. It's a little more complicated than adding herbs and spices, you know. Not to worry. At least we put some food to good use. No need to feel disheartened. And here's your portion. Enjoy. I can box it up if you like. Woohoo! Thanks! Glad you were paying attention. You're Paimon's new favorite. I can tell that you're good friends. Paimon was keeping an eye on you and your safety during the whole experiment. Not that Paimon would have been able to do much if things had gone wrong. But anyway. Hey! You were being nice a second ago! But you do have tasty recipes, so Paimon forgives you. And you're right, we are good friends. You have good friends too, right? Good students? Uh, yes. I'm fortunate too, I suppose. Anyway, moving on to the next experiment. There are all manner of alchemical items here. Keeping them in their proper place is a challenge at the best of times. A while ago, I had the misfortune of misplacing a batch. I managed to retrieve the majority, but two vials have been evading me. Animal crystal fly elemental extract and electrohypostasis powder. Don't worry if you can't locate them. I was planning to replace them anyway. Though finding them would save me the hassle. If you had, say, a superpower, like night vision or vibratory sensing, a lost property would be a thing of the past. I must have dropped them somewhere in the area where you were looking just now. So, guess we'd better take a look. There should be some elemental traces on the lost items. You could use Elemental Sight! I wonder if that's classified as a suit power, is that what they're alluding to, I wonder? Okay, so to use that, it's this. Okay, I'm not seeing it. Did it not select the, the quest like it was supposed to? Ah, okay, it wants me to start over here. I'm... Oh, there's it. Okay, there's one. This must be electrohypostasis powder. And there's the other one. The extract of an animal crystal fly can only be animal elemental energy, right? This is... Goodness. You managed to find them. Incredible. A thousand thanks. I'm wondering... This elemental sight... This is what allowed you to locate the items and find me here on the mountains, correct? Yep. Guess it does sort of count as a superpower, huh? 
Unfortunately, though elemental sight is seldom seen, it is not unheard of in Tevat. Only a never-before-seen otherworldly power would be of benefit to my research. You mean, we failed again? Don't be disheartened. This falls entirely within my expectations. Besides, getting these items back, I'd call this a very worthwhile experiment. I have to commend your deduction that the items would contain elemental traces. Right then. Up until now, our research has focused on your otherworldly identity. Our research on your identity as one of us is just beginning. With you to the end. In essence, the differences between humans are reflected in our intellectual and physical capabilities. Let's start with physical. Looking out from where we're standing, can you see what Sucrose is doing? Nope. And if you jumped from here and landed on that cliff, the one over there, could you see her then? Nope. So what about if you planted a single blow on the mountain face here, and it burst into a million fragments? Then could you see her? Sounds like we're still on the superpower test. Hmm. Then I shouldn't get too excited. Still, we'll gain a more thorough understanding with an experiment. I know of a location that will be perfect for a physical test. Please, follow me. Still in one piece! Good thing the vial's so strong! Okay, so we're going up the mountain, but I want to go and grab this thing over here. <laughs> We we see Venti. We're finally gliding, and it is faster. We. <laughs> okay, so we got you. Let's see. It looks like the only one close by, and I don't really feel like going and fighting a bunch of stuff right now. We're probably gonna explore this area later, anyways, because we're gonna have to uncover the whole mountain. So let's get some air and float on over. Okay, wow, that really didn't get me much air. Wow, I lost a lot of altitude. Okay, was that a bird or was that a scream? That sounded like a scream. That was kind of terrifying. There we go. Okay, let's go warm up first. Don't want Venti to freeze to death. Actually, I probably should switch to Venti just because in case I need to light anything on fire immediately be useful. Okay, so let's start heading up the mountain again. Adventure time. Yes, Benny. It's adventure let's time. Light it up. Okay. Oh gosh, backward sneeze. Ah, it burns. Oh my gosh, I do not want to fight that. Okay, what's up this way? It's got the little air thingies. Where's the other one? There should be three of them. I'm not seeing a third one. Maybe if I just... Yeah, that's one way to get up here, I guess. What a find! Oh, there was food in the chest. I don't know if I still get it. Ooh, priest box. That's probably for a side quest. Again, I haven't done Dragon Spine since it first came out, like... I think it was like two years ago now, actually, so I don't know exactly everything. Dang it, I was trying to hit this. I don't know everything, like, remember what it all is and everything. So this is very much so new to me. Okay, that didn't do much because they have the shields. But Razor can take them out. No problem. Just a little bit higher up. Boop. Boop. Brace yourself. I'm getting close to freezing. Let's see. Ah, good. Warmer. Ah. So I'm supposed to get up there? Okay, this should be interesting. Let's see if I can do this. Here we go! So it seems like Vendi's not getting as much air as I remember him being able to get. It could be, though, on my account, I have uh, Kazuha, and he's really good for exploration. So that might be why. Oh, 
Let's see. I should be seeing this stuff soon, right? There's supposed to be a... I'm gonna do this first, I guess. You... You want us to jump from up here? Not necessarily. Not if you know of a better method, that is. We'd better have a better method. Whichever method you choose, the experiment will end when you reach the opposite shore of the lake. I will factor the time expended and your top speed into my comparative analysis. The opposite side of the lake. So, we're gonna be swimming? Without limitations, we complete tasks intuitively, using the method that seems most rational to us. Some of us would be unable to stand the icy waters. Others might find the whole thing rather refreshing. No matter what choice you make, it's all a part of the experiment. For me, every detail is invaluable to the research. This is actually less stressful than the superpower part. Then if you would, please. I eagerly await the results. I'm surprised the traveler wanted to say that. While we're busy testing, what exactly are you going to be doing? Oh, I gotta go quickly, but I wanted to Me? try to find the gem. Recording data. Responding oh, to well. risks. Providing we'll come back here eventually. Emotional support. So if we do decide to go swimming, you gonna dive in with us? No. <laughs> Unless you're thinking of conducting competitive research? Well, that was weird. Oh! Uh, forget Paimon said anything. Come on, there we go. Nice and easy. Brace yourself. Here we go, that was a good way to get across, I think. No touching the icy waters. I wouldn't gliding be fast. Great work. I've never seen a performance quite like it. Your reputation precedes you, traveler. The data shows that you're easily outperforming the average citizen in Mondstadt. But you followed us the whole way without breaking a sweat! Me? Actually, I used alchemy to cheat a little. But anyway. If it turns out that the natural laws of Tevat do not affect you, I should be able to make various inferences about the otherworldly civilization you belong to. If the natural laws of Tevat do affect you, then I shall be able to make inferences into the kind of evolution that would occur under the absence of such effects. The innumerable possibilities that this could present, the captivating insights, it would be something to savor again and again. But how does this help your research? You've helped me to unravel many of the problems that were holding it back. When we return to the campsite, I should be able to show you something interesting. What else have you researched this thoroughly? I may be about to make some analogies between you and a few... unusual specimens. I hope you won't be offended. Gold, petrified trees, a sun eight times the size of our own. The essence of the investigative process is enthralling, but such feelings are inevitably fleeting in nature. I'm willing to pour all my energy into research, and yet specimens are finite. As the unknown transitions into the realm of scientific understanding, the feeling of enlightenment is lost. All these things that start out as objects of fascination end up possessing the prosaic mundanity of a sunsetia or a sweet flower. They cease to be noteworthy. Oh, so that's why you wanted to paint those hilly turtles? Because you got to see something new and interesting in the differences between them? Precisely. To quote my exact words from earlier, these creatures are, for the most part, quite boring, not worth closer inspection. There is precious little about them that serves to pique my curiosity now. So after all these experiments, are we gonna be, like, boring to you? Like some basic draft of a sketch? Of course not. You have been of great assistance to me, and I will remember this friendship for a lifetime. Now, before we head back to the campsite, there is one more experiment. Intelligence. Follow me. There are some other ruins nearby. No, keep Oh, good, we're next to a fire. Um, ruins nearby? That ain't nearby. That's a long way to walk. 
That is a very long way to walk, but we don't have any teleport point nearby, so I guess we just gotta walk there. Take a shortcut. Dang it, I was hoping there wouldn't be anything here. Well, these things are pretty hardy. All for a common chest, too. Ooh, official's hitting good. Yeah, I did try to get him some good stuff on him. Wee. Boop. Warm up a little. Thank you. Off we go. Adventure time. Eh, we can do this puzzle. Oh, well, we're here. We might as well do this Off little puzzle. Okay, I see. Can't wait for it to get back. So basically, it has the ability to hit two of them before it stops. So we want to try to start them um, as close to the same time as possible. I think. Maybe not. Nope, I think I did that bad. I think it was supposed to be start them as far apart as possible. Maybe. Yeah, because they intersected. That was bad. We didn't want them to intersect. So, basically, I think what we're wanting to do... ...is wait till it gets to the third one over here, then start this one. That sounds more correct, I'm thinking. There we go. That should hopefully do it this time. There we go. That's what I was going for. Oh dear, big guy. Is he gonna active? Oop, I didn't mean to start that, but oh well. Um, there goes nothing. Yeah, no, that did not work like it was supposed to. Okay, I wonder if I start you? Okay, you don't stay lit very long. I think I did that wrong again. Let's see, how would this work? So it seems like I need to start the next one whenever they get two ahead, I think. So it's gonna go one, hit the second one, so then I do that one. One, and then he hits the second one, then that one, maybe? No, I don't think that's fast enough. I think it needs to go a little bit faster. Adventure time. So maybe I start you, then I start you, and then I start you. Isn't that kind of what I did the first time, though? Oh, I guess I did it. Yep, I did do it. I did it all right. Oh dear. Can I start hitting him? Okay, good. He is taking damage. Everybody, stand back. Think you can get away? Just gonna go all out on this big old guy. And there we go, Razor. Good damage. Okay, official call Oz out again. Adventure time. This isn't going too bad. See, can I get Bennett's off? Sweet. Use her burst. I don't think I need to use razors again because he's pretty much dead. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Not too shabby if I say so myself. Adventure time. What's this? A notebook? Seems like some sort of records left behind by someone who once investigated the area. 
Vox, Paimon bets these will be a great value. Um, historical value to someone. Let's go ask around. What's this for? Oh, that's a scarlet quartz, so I can go and melt this over here. Dreamed of the black dragon that blotted out the sun and knew it to be an omen of doom. That same month, the Outlander... Looks like the stone tablet is talking about events from the past. Ooh, it lit up. Paimon wonders if these runes have any other stone tablets like this one. Well, I guess we're gonna be uncovering stone tablets too as part of another side quest. Well, I guess this is gonna be a good spot to end. I know we were gonna go finish Albedo's thing, but it, it took a little bit longer than I thought to do that little side thing. But also this is kind of a good spot too because it's warm here. But we're going to go ahead and do some wishes. Let me go ahead and get this collected. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off on some wishes. It looks like we got maybe about four, maybe? I think that's pretty good. Okay, here we go, everybody. Wish us luck. We are going for Kazuha. Wish number one. Okay, it's nothing. That's fine. Wish number two. I think we're only gonna get three out of it, it looks like. And wish number three. Yeah, looks like we're only gonna get three wishes. Okay, so nothing out of those three. How close are we? We'll add three to this number. Let's see. Wow, we were at seven, so we're almost to our four star. But anyways, so let's see. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 55, 56, 57, plus 3 is 60. So we're at exactly 60 wishes. That's not bad. We're, we're getting really close to pity. And we actually, do we have any in the shop we could buy? Because I don't think I've bought all of them. No, I haven't bought all of them yet. Awesome, awesome. So here we go. We got one more. Dang it, I was hoping for at least a 4 star. We have a couple of these. You know what? I've been saving these for 10 pulls, but we might as well use them up. We'll just go all out on the wishes. See if we get anything fun. Also, that'll get us more star glitter, so that way we can... I mean, stardust, so we can actually buy more wishes. I didn't even think about that. I should have been doing that. Why was I not doing that? And this one, I don't know how close we are to anything on this one. Apparently not very close to anything on that one. Okay, so we can buy one more. There we go, here we go. Please be a four star. Okay, it's a four star, awesome. I mean, five star would have been better, but you know. Oh, we got a Toma. Well, that's not bad. We're getting, well, okay, he was one of the banner ones. It's like, was he on the banner? Yeah, he was on the banner. Okay, so that's not bad. We got Toma, he's pretty good. It's just another Inazuma character. <laughs> that we're not going to be able to do anything with, which I have, like, no polearm weapons either. But okay, so that's not bad. Like I said, Toma's a pretty good character, especially for shielding and everything. It's just, again, all of his stuff, I believe, takes, uh... Yeah, see, it's all stuff from Inazuma, so we're not going to be able to work on him for a while. But okay. Well, that's, I guess, kind of a good way to end the episode off on, I guess. <laughs> we at least got something, right? And we're working our way towards pity more. We're really getting close, I hope. We should be able to hopefully get Kazaha if things keep up at this pace. But anyways, I digress. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!